Okay, so another example here related to rates of change. And in this case, we're actually going to talk about secant lines a little bit. So all a secant line is, it's just a line that connects two points on the curve. So we want to find the equation for the secant line that sits on the curve, f of x equals 4x squared minus 7, on the interval negative 2 to 1. So I'm going to make a little very, 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 very rough sketch here of my function. So let's see, um, x squared is a parabola opening upwards. Uh, the 4 would just make it a little more narrow, and then the minus 7 would just shift it down. So there's negative 7, that would be the y-coordinate, or excuse me, the y-intercept um, on our parabola here. And then it just kind of gets big pretty fast. Okay, so let's see. Notice if we plug in, you know, we could plot points to see what's going on. At the point negative 2, let's figure out what the y value is. So these are kind of the x-coordinates that I'm going to be using. If we plug in negative 2, well, we'll get 4 times negative 2 squared minus 7. Well, negative 2 squared is going to be 4. So we have 4 times 4 minus 7. That's 16 minus 7, which will give us a positive 9. So sitting over here somewhere on our graph, you know, let's maybe at random, this would be the point negative 2 comma positive 9. Likewise, we can plug in the value 1 to get the y-coordinate there. Um, so let me squeeze it in here. So if we plug 1 in, we'll get 4 times 1 squared minus 7. Well, 1 squared is uh, just 1, times 4 is 4, minus 7. So 4 minus 7 will give us negative 3. So maybe we can uh, stick that point over here. So that's going to be the point um, 1 comma negative 3. And all we're trying to do is just find the equation of the line that goes through those two particular points. Okay, so we're trying to figure out that equation. And again, you don't have to, obviously, you don't have to graph the function to do this problem. Um, but just to try to show you what's going on here. So normally on a problem, I, you know, I would calculate the, the uh, you know, the points and uh, not worry about too much else. So negative 2, 9, we said was one point, And we said when you plug 1 in, you get out negative 3. Well, now this is just kind of a, you know, old algebra stuff, just figuring out the equation of a line. So I'm going to use point slope formula, which says it's y minus y sub 1 equals the slope, x minus x sub 1. Um, we can use either one of these two points that we want. I don't know. I'm going to use the 1 and negative 3s because the numbers are smaller. So it says we would have y minus, well, negative 3. The slope, we still don't know yet. We'll figure that out in just a second. And then we would have x minus the x-coordinate, which is positive 1. All right, to get the slope, well, remember slope is just change in y over change in x. So it says subtract the y-coordinates. So I'm going to do 9 minus negative 3 over negative 2 minus 1. Well, that's just going to be 9 plus 3, which is 12. And then we'll have negative 3 in the denominator. So we'll get our slope of negative 4. So now I'm just going to plug all of that back into my equation of my line. So let's see, we've got y minus negative 3, which would give us y plus 3. Our slope of negative 4 times x minus 1. Um, you know, to me, this is now an equation of a line. So on a quiz or a test, unless somebody, you know, when I used to give uh, tests, um, to me, I, I, I would tell people, hey, you can stop here. That's an equation of a line. Uh, let's call it a day. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of times, though, people will, you know, will want the solution in intercept form, uh, slope intercept form. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we distribute the negative 4, we'll get negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 1 would be positive 4. And to get the y all by himself there, we can just subtract 3 from both sides. And that would give us y equals negative 4x plus positive 1. So, okay, so my graph, uh, my little line was not correct because it looks like the y-intercept should be negative 1. But again, uh, clearly that's what happens when you draw everything by hand real, real uh, sloppily like I did there. But that would now be the equation of the secant line. So that's all, all they're doing. So they're giving you the x-coordinates. You've got to find the corresponding y-coordinates. Um, and then you're just doing, you know, point-slope form. Um, still got to figure out the slope, 
But after that, as long as you remember the formula, it's just kind of plugging everything in and simplifying it on down.